Hey everybody, I'm Greg with the Fix My Bleep channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So this is going to be a quick assembly video on the Yaxic cargo carrier and receiver. So let's get into the video. Let's check this out. Tools required for this video, a couple of good crescent wrenches and possibly an energy drink. Your call on that last item. So three quick things to note about the Yaxic cargo carrier. So it fits a two inch tube receiver on your vehicle. It also has a 500 pound capacity. And the other thing is this is also a folding cargo carrier. One other thing I'd like to point out about the Yaxic cargo rack, unlike some other cargo racks I've seen or had in the past, this one actually comes with the reflectors already attached to it. Some you have to attach yourself. This one has the reflectors already pre-attached, so check that out. All right there, two reflectors already built right in. So to assemble this rack, they do give you some assembly instructions. It comes with a parts list, comes with some diagrams, and they give you operation, operation one through 11. First off, we're gonna install this large beam here. Big chunk of steel, looks like it holds everything together. Let's get going. So just like the instructions say, we're gonna turn it over so that your reflectors are on the bottom. We've still got the rack folded up. Basically, I just need to turn this. Got our reflectors right there. And then it's showing the beam is going on the top. We've got the two holes on the beam on the left side and then there should be one hole over on the right side so just like this and they're showing this hole is going to line up right here i'll bring the camera in so step one we're going to have the reflectors on the bottom facing to the right we're going to lay the beam in there and the hole in the beam is gonna line up on the right side in the hole in the rack. Hole in the beam right here, lining up with the hole in the rack right there. Be sure and remove your plastic uh, shipping tabs here. A couple of those to remove out. So step two, it's showing us inserting the bolts through here. It says install fasteners as shown for drawing two right here. So we're gonna install the bolts through the main beam. There's a bolt at each end. Dump out our bolts. Pretty straightforward. We've only got the two bolts here that are actually the only two bolts that are gonna work. Again, make sure your holes are lined up. All right, so take one of your bolts, make sure it's got a washer on it. Go from the left side to the right side. Make sure you got a lock washer and a lock nut. And we're gonna put that on the other end here. I'm just gonna finger tighten it for now. Spin that on. All right, now we're gonna rinse and repeat on the back end here of this main part. Take your bolt, keep a washer on it, go from the left side through to the right side. Lock washer, lock nut on the right side. Finger tighten them. Go ahead and tighten this up. All right, so I'm gonna tighten this up. I did grab an open end 17 millimeter wrench, which will also work. All right, so we're up to step three, and this is where we take the shank. We install it into the two inch receiver hitch on the vehicle. Take it like this. Pop it right in here. There are two different holes. I'm actually gonna install it a little further out on the vehicle so that we can still open the back of the vehicle here and access the trunk. We're gonna take our pin, we're gonna put that through. 
just like that. Take your cotter pin, put it right through here. There's a hole pre-drilled. Put it all the way through. That will secure your hitch so that your hitch won't go anywhere. Step number four, very important step. We're gonna install the included hitch tightener. So you're just gonna need two pieces for this. You're gonna need the black piece of flat metal. It's got the edge on it or the beveled edge. It's gonna go down so the beveled edge is facing out away from the vehicle. So just set it on your hitch right there like that. Then you're gonna need your big U-bolt like that. And that's gonna come up from the bottom and go through that black plate. So this is gonna stabilize your entire cargo rack and the entire load so that you don't have any sway or any movement on it. Big U-bolt, go ahead and unscrew the self or self-locking nuts. Remove the two washers, one for each side. Take your U-bolt, go up from the bottom. Put down your flat washer first, lock washer second. Your lock nut third, rinse and repeat, flat washer first, second, lock washer second. Now if you have a 19 millimeter open-ended wrench, that's great, or a socket would be even better. Go ahead and tighten them up. You want to push this all the way up to the hitch receiver on your vehicle and then go ahead and let's get them tightened up here. Snug them down pretty good. That piece is on. All right, so that wraps up step four and step five. Step six, we're going to lift the cargo rack and just rest it into the back of the shank and then put bolts through it. Let's see how that goes. There she is. Let's get some bolts in her. So step six was just setting the rack onto the shank. So now step seven is actually putting the bolts through here. So we've got the first bolt, this great big one right here. And we're gonna come through this side and uh, put our washer and nut on the other side. So let's go ahead and get that done. So you know they're showing the bolt closer to the cargo rack and then you've got this other lever closer to the actual vehicle. Okay, so we put the bolt through. Here's the cargo rack, right there. Big washer on this side. Then your lock nut. That's where your crescent wrench will come in handy. Tighten her down. Tighten her down, but not too tight. You still want this rack to be able to fold up when you need to. Now, one thing worth pointing out, you'll see item number 13 not provided, and that's actually this pin right here. I went ahead and used the pin to hold the uh, hitch receiver in there, but then we're gonna need another one of those if we don't want our rack folding up. And then put 13 in right here, and then use the regular pin on the hitch right there. All right, so that was step six and seven. Step eight, opening up the fences and getting this thing all ready to go. It's got a little latch right here. Just pop the latch. Open up all the fences. So steps nine and 10 are basically opening up the fences, getting them all into place, and then uh, putting in the little pins that come with these fences. So these are called wire locks, and I'm gonna show you how to do all that. 
So here's your wire locks that come with the cargo rack. So each fence is going to require one of these wire locks. You want the round part on the outside of your cargo rack and just push it through the hole. Snap it on. Just like that and rinse and repeat. And just like that, there's a look at the Yaxic cargo rack fully assembled and ready to be loaded up. Check it out. Another look at the Yaxic cargo rack. Let's open up the back of the vehicle, make sure it's going to clear. Nicely clears the cargo rack, even if you had some items in here, it looks like it would clear it without any problem. Very good. So right, right about there. So as far as folding up this rack, you just need to remove the pins on the rails and then we can fold it right up. Let's check it out. Super quick and easy, I moved all the pins that fast. Fold down the rails. Fold in the sides. latch on the top here. And we just fold this guy right up. We pull the pin, fold her up, put our pin in right there, and that's all there is to folding this rack up. Super quick and easy. All right, as far as folding the exit cargo rack back down, pull out the pin, take the rack, pull it back down, flip the latch right here, Open up your side. Quick as that, you're all done. You're ready for some cargo. Don't forget to put your hitch pin back in. The Yaxic Folding Cargo Carrier is currently running $197.97 on Amazon. There's a link in the description. Be sure and go take a look. So that's it for today. I hope this assembly video is really helpful for you. Give me a big thumbs up or a like, or even subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the review video on the same cargo rack. Check out these other videos I've got going on. I'll catch you guys later.